Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Holder, and I wanted to read a book with you. And some of you, I think, may have heard of this already at school. But anyway, the book is called Trout Are Made of Trees, which I know is a very peculiar title, which is the whole point, right? Because whenever you are reading a book, when you look at the title, you always want it to be something interesting that grabs your interest and makes you wonder, what? What are they talking about? What's this book going to be about? Mm -hmm. Precisely. So, trout are made of trees. And at the same time, I'm throwing a frisbee to a dog. So if you see me looking down every now and then, it's um, to entertain the dog. So sorry, multitasking, working from home. What can we do? I don't have toddlers and babies running around. I just have Roxy. Well. And Nala too. Nala's laying on my foot right now. Roxy's the one that's being a little bit <clears throat> needy. Anyway, here we go. Trout are made of trees. Trout. Trout are made of trees. In fall, trees let go of leaves, which swirl and twirl and slip into streams. They ride in a rush above rocks and over rapids. They snag and settle soggily down. Bacteria feed on the leaves. Algae grow, softening surfaces. Wait, was that the next page? Yes, okay, sorry. <laughs> Next, the shredders move in. Crane flies, caddis flies, shrimp and stone flies shred leaves, rip and snip. They eat the algae covered leaves, which become part of them. Hmm. Trout are made of trees. Are you getting an idea yet? Hmm. Meanwhile, predators are swimming and stalking. Crunch, there go the caddis flies. Munch, there go the stone flies. Now the leaves have become part of the predators. Hmm, it's all coming together, isn't it? Trout join in, aha. Swim and snap, fins flick, rush, zap. They eat dragonflies, caddisflies, stoneflies, and minnows. The leaves have now become part of the trout. Tree shade keeps the stream cool for spawning. Female trout gather over gravel and lay eggs. The males fertilize the eggs. Oh, 11, I had it labeled. I was talking about it in class. Here come the hatchlings. They grow up in a stream, crack, curse, splash shaped by falling branches. Trout are made of trees. So are the bears and the people who catch the trout and eat them. So, trout are made of trees. I like that book. Simple, but um, has a very good point, doesn't it? All about food chains, food webs, and how everything is a part of everything else. I hope that helps you understand a little bit more about why the whole environment is important to everything, really, because one little thing, like a crane fly, a caddis fly larva, is important to the health of everything else in that environment. I hope you enjoyed the story, and I'll see you next time. Bye.